Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2021 BMW M3 Competition Sedan. Now this has 1,270 horsepower, 901 pounds speed of torque from a 3.4 litre turbocharged inline 6 engine. The car itself now weighs 3,350 pounds, has all wheel drive and it can now do 0 to 16 1.64 seconds and 0 to 103.358 seconds. So, hilariously quick in terms of acceleration to 16 and to 100 and hopefully it will be able to at least manage to match the similar BMW M4 competition coupe which this is based on as that managed to match the likes of a Lamborghini Cyan Roadster and a Koenigsegg Agera which is you know hardly unserious competition so uh, yeah if we can at least be, uh, match those then that would be really really good and I think it might be one of the fastest saloon cars that we've had on this series so far so yeah, but regardless, let's get out there and see what it can do. It's properly quick in terms of acceleration, but that does not always translate to a high top speed, so let's see if that's not the case this time round. It's 220 already, 230. So if anything's going to hold this back against this coupe version is the fact that it's going to weigh a little bit more those rear doors, but yeah, they're still just 270, 275, 276, any more, there's a little bit of speed there around the corner, I'm going to move a bit more here, did not realise we come out of ghost mode, so yeah, it's not got the best handling in the world for this kind of speed and uh, power. It does like to oversteer quite a lot. Quickly gaining back our speed that we've lost. And we'll gain even more speed coming up to this downhill section. Uh, we will gain speed, no doubt about that. But it's about whether or not we can maintain it after the fact. So that's 277, 278, 279. 80, scrubbing it off now. Can we hold 277 at least? Yes, we can. So, yeah, 277 miles an hour. So, that matches the M4. So, fairly consistent for this platform, quite frankly, despite the additional weight with those rear doors. So, uh, yeah, on the whole, that is pretty impressive. Uh, we obviously did have to also knock off the rear spoiler add side skirts and a new rear bumper as well to gain that kind of speed as yeah they improve the aerodynamics of this car but still don't know what that car's doing um but yeah still that's really really quick and like i said matches the m4 competition coupe which also means it matches the mercedes-benz amg hammer coupe the ferrari 599xx and the agera and cyan roadster that i mentioned earlier not quite the fastest saloon car though as the audi rs3 sedan and the Lincoln Co. 03 Plus managed to get to 278 miles an hour. But it's very close between them, uh, no doubt about that. And yeah, I'm not sure if there's any other quicker saloons. Uh, XFRS maybe from Jaguar, I think that's a saloon. Um, uh, but yeah, I think that's all in terms of other saloon cars. Um, it's not the quickest BMW though, because the M3 GTS managed 281 miles an hour, which was hilariously quick for a BMW. So, uh, yeah, not quite as quick as that car, uh, but it does at least manage the M4 upon which this is based on, which does show that this platform is really consistent in terms of being able to deliver, you know, high top speeds when, you know, upgraded to the uh, max, quite frankly. So, uh, yeah, that's all well and good, but still not a massive fan of this car in stock form, but still. You can get this by getting 20 points in the current festival playlist and yeah if you're a fan of BMW especially BMW sports saloon cars then yeah get this car and I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So uh, yeah but nonetheless thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.